And welcome back. Boy, it has been a hot one all across the southern United States. We've had high pressure built over the area, creating a big dome in the jet stream. Got more mild air up across the northern portions of the state, but this air mass is going to be hanging out for a little while. Currently on the sky scan, not really showing much in the way of moisture. Little cloud cover starting to move into eastern Colorado. That's a weak, weak, weak little cold front that's trying to move across the eastern portions of the state. Now, I'm not going to get too terribly excited about it. However, on the sky cast, it is showing a heavier cell moving right through La Junta and Lamar around 8 tonight. We'll continue to keep our eye on that. Again, there's not a lot of moisture to work with and there's not a lot of instability. So I'm not too terribly excited about this being anything terribly significant, but there is that possibility of seeing a stronger storm move throughout eastern Colorado tonight. But it does move out of the area very quickly by the early morning hours Monday. Really, the only concern, a little bit of fog possibly moving again throughout the eastern plains due to all that evaporation we've had due to the warm weather. Lows on this Sunday evening cooling off to 64, if you want to call that cooling off in Colorado Springs, 62 in Pueblo. Mid to high 60s throughout the eastern plains and 40s and 50s in the mountains tonight. So, not very chilly out there. So, the area of high pressure that's been bringing all these sunny skies and nice, warm, dry weather across the state that is going to continue to track out of the region. However, Monday, it's just going to stay pretty much camped out over across southern Colorado, still creating that big dome in the jet stream, allowing for sunny skies and beautiful weather on Monday. There is a slight chance, though, Monday evening we could see a few storms. Try to roll through the area, but Tuesday is the day we'll keep our eye on. Tomorrow's highs starting off your work week at 94 in Colorado Springs. Still the triple digits throughout eastern Colorado 101 in Pueblo, 102 in La Junta and Lamar, and 70s and 80s in the high terrain. Next seven days look like this for us again, starting the work week out hot and dry, kind of hazy out there. Monday, Tuesday, or excuse me, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's when we're going to see the next weather disturbance move in as that jet stream starts to flatten out a little bit. Those temperatures are going to cool down and we're going to get a shot of moisture moving through, but it's not going to last too terribly long. Looks to dry up just in time for the weekend. Still tracking a chance, though, of rain moving in back on Sunday. Pueblo 101 tomorrow, 90s to follow, 60s for your overnight lows. Again, moisture. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, afternoon storms could see some stronger cells out of these storms due to increased instability over the next few days. Canyon City, 98 tomorrow, kind of hazy skies, but for the most part, relatively clear. And again, still tracking a few thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Teller County, 86 starting out your work week with the 70s to follow and 50s for your overnight lows. So a much more mild week, but still some chances of thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, something you'd be tracking for sure. Yeah, definitely. Jason thinks a lot. Josh is here with sports. Yeah. You're talking about a correlation. Some of the summertime weather may be helping our baseball teams yeah, in Colorado. Yeah, maybe that heat helping those.